Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to morning prayer on this Thursday morning. It's Thursday, the 10th of December, and you're very welcome if you're joining us for prayer this morning, whether you're watching live or watching on a recording later on. It's good to have you with us and to pray together. As always, you can follow along using the link in the post description or by using the daily prayer app. So let's just take a moment of quiet as we begin our time of prayer together. Loving God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We ask that you'd help us to pray now. Help us to hear your word. Fill us with your spirit. Strengthen us for the day that lies ahead. And help us to lift up people and situations to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion the dawn from on high is breaking upon us, to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Three psalms this morning. Psalm 53, 54 and 60. So starting with Psalm 53. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Everyone is turned away. All have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Do all these evildoers know nothing? They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on God, but there they are, overwhelmed with dread. Where there was nothing to dread, God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Psalm 54 Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Arrogant foes are attacking me. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. People without regard for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness destroy them. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. You have delivered me from all my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes.
and Psalm number 60. Psalm 60. You have rejected us, God, and burst upon us. You have been angry, now restore us. You have shaken the land and torn it open. Mend its fractures, for it is quaking. You have shown your people desperate times. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. But for those who fear you, you have raised a banner to be unfurled against the bow. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those who love you may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah is my scepter. Moab is my washbasin. On Edom I toss my sandal. Over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, God? You who have now rejected us and no longer go out with our armies. Give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God we shall gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies. Risen Christ, you claim your own among the nations. Mend what is broken in us, loving Saviour. Do not forsake us when we fail, but in your service grant us daring and love for your name's sake. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah, and today we're reading Isaiah chapter 48, verses 1 to 11. Isaiah 48, verses 1 to 11. Listen to this, you descendants of Jacob, you who are called by the name of Israel, and come from the line of Judah. You who take oaths in the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth or righteousness. You who call yourselves citizens of the holy city and claim to rely on the God of Jacob. Sorry, the God of Israel. The Lord Almighty is his name. I foretold the former things long ago. My mouth announced them and I made them known. Then suddenly I acted and they came to pass, for I knew how stubborn you were. Your neck muscles were iron, your forehead was bronze. Therefore I told you these things long ago. Before they happened, I announced them to you, so that you could not say, My images brought them about, my wooden image, and metal God ordained them. You have heard these things, look at them all. Will you not admit them? From now on I will tell you of new things, of hidden things unknown to you. They are created now and not long ago. You have not heard of them before today, so you cannot say, yes, I knew of them. You have neither heard nor understood. From of old your ears have not been open. Well do I know how treacherous you are. You were called a rebel from birth. For my own name's sake I delay my wrath. For the sake of my praise I hold it back from you, so as not to destroy you completely. See, I have refined you. Wireless dropped out a minute. See, I have refined you, though not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I do this. How can I let myself be defamed? I will not yield my glory to another. The New Testament reading continues in Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Chapter 
chapter three. I'll just wait for that to happen. Just wait for the uh, phone to stop ringing. One Thessalonians chapter three. So, when we could stand it no longer, we thought it best to be left by ourselves in Athens. We sent Timothy, who is our brother and co-worker in God's service in spreading the gospel of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you in your faith, so that no one would be unsettled by these trials. For you know quite well that we are destined for them. In fact, when we were with you, we kept telling you that we would be persecuted, and it turned out that way, as you well know. For this reason, when I could stand it no longer, I sent to find out about your faith. I was afraid that in some way the tempter had tempted you, and that our labours might have been in vain. But Timothy has just now come to us from you, and has brought good news about your faith and love. He has told us that you always have pleasant memories of us, and that you long to see us just as we also long to see you. Therefore, brothers and sisters, in all our distress and persecution, we were encouraged about you because of your faith. For now we really live, since you are standing firm in the Lord. How can we thank God enough for you, in return for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you? Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you again, and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ clear the way for us to come to you. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father, when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. Now it is time to wake, awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. The Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. So we come to our prayers of intercession. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, loving God, we thank you for this day and we pray for the day that lies ahead of us. We pray that you'd strengthen us to face this day and help us in all that we do. We pray that we could be your witnesses, shine your light into our community. We pray that you would help us with any challenges that we face. Pray that we could experience you with us and in us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we continue to pray for all of our schools, for children and young people. We pray for all the teachers and teaching staff and admin and heads. We ask, Lord, that you'd give them strength to see out this term. We ask, Lord, that you'd give them good rest over the Christmas period. Pray especially for any children who are struggling with anxiety or other mental health issues. We pray for children who belong to families who are struggling to make ends meet. We pray for children that are in homes where there are difficulties in relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for all of our local care homes here in Binley. We ask that you would protect all of the residents and the staff. We pray for those who are feeling isolated, for those who are unable to see friends and family at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our government, for all in authority. We pray for wise decision making. We pray for you to guide their steps. We pray for the negotiations with, with the European Union. We pray for the rollout of the vaccine and the decisions that need to be made about um, the ongoing response to coronavirus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we lift up to you any who are sick in any way. We pray for those who are struggling with mental health, those who are anxious or depressed. We pray for those who are awaiting hospital treatment and for those who are in hospital. And in a moment of quiet, we lift up to God anyone known to us in particular need of his healing at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are in mourning. We especially think of families arranging funerals at this time. We pray for them over Christmas, which will be a difficult time if you've recently lost a loved one. And we ask, Lord, for your comfort in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to be your witnesses and to shine your light in this time. Help us to serve you and to serve one another. Help us to look out for one another, to reach out for one another and particularly to care for those who are struggling. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Collect, the special prayer for this week. O Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us and with great might succour us that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory now and forever. Amen. Please join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for prayer this morning. Have a good day and I'll see you for evening prayer at six o'clock this evening. Take care and God bless.